The solar radiation tool is one of the more important tools in ArcGIS. The amount of incoming solar radiation or insulation is expressed in watts per square meter per hour or in megajoules per square meter. To know the amount of insulation at specific geographic location is very helpful for a wide range of applications, including agriculture, resource management, metrology, civil engineering, and ecological research. In mountain regions, without solar radiation analysis, we could not model evaporation rates, snow melt, soil moisture, or habitats. Each grid cell receives insulation dependent on elevation, slope, aspect, day of the year, time of the day, direct and diffuse radiation proportions and obstructions between the grid cell and the sun. In urban planning, LiDAR data allow us to create realistic 3D models of entire cities such as Lyon in France. Current and future conditions can be visualized. But in addition to 3D houses, we can also add other 3D features that we find in an urban landscape, such as trees, street lamps, cars, benches, and everything else. We can model shadows cast by the sun, as is demonstrated here using the scene of Venice in Algiers Online. The first scene is during summer, and the second scene is during winter. This offers the opportunity to calculate insulation for rooftops and other locations throughout an urban landscape. The following is an example of a rooftop solar radiation analysis in an American city where, in collaboration with ESRI, additional solar radiation tools were developed. The entire dataset is available for download and a tutorial guides you through all the steps. Enjoy the ESRI video. Hi and welcome to this video tutorial on the Calculate Solar Radiation Solution. Calculate solar radiation can be used to calculate solar radiation maps for the wider community. And in addition, you can visualize the solar radiation on selected buildings in a 3D scene and evaluate the total solar radiation for selected roof area. In the Calculate Solar Radiation Raster task, you set the features that you want to participate in the analysis. This can be buildings, trees, or just the DTM or DSM. Set your solar raster cell size and select the months that you want to calculate a solar raster for. If you select all months, there will be also a solar radi uh, radiation raster calculated for the whole year. The resulting solar raster will show kilowatt hours per square meter per day. And the atmospheric parameters used in this analysis have been calibrated using the surface meteorology and solar energy global data sets by NASA. And this was done to provide more accurate results. Apply your symbology to the resulting raster so you can see the variation in solar radiation well. Now we can also show solar radiation values on the roofs of 3D buildings. You first select the buildings you wish to show solar radiation on and then run the Visualize Solar Radiation on Building Roofs task. Now note that selecting a lot of buildings will result in longer processing times and slower display frame rates. So you set the panel size and select the month that you've calculated the solar radiation raster for previously. And again, apply appropriate symbology. And in this case, make sure you set zero radiation to white because this represents the walls of the buildings.
So there we have it, solar radiation values displayed on the roofs of the surrounding buildings. Now, of course, we can do the same for the proposed development. So we go back to our previous task and select as input buildings, a proposed development. In this case, we take a smaller panel size of one meters and set the elevation units of the proposed development and select the month that we have a raster for. We run the tool and again, we apply the symbology. And again, here as well, make sure you set zero radiation to white so you get nice white walls. Now, finally, we can calculate total solar radiation on selected roof areas. So for this, we are going to run the summarize solar radiation for selected roof areas task. Now, use the selection tool to select a roof area. And then we can summarize all the values for that area. So as you can see, for the selected area, we have a total of more than 2,200 kilowatt hours per day in August. So now we are ready to publish our solar radiation results. You can publish to Portal for ArcGIS or ArcGIS Online. And in this case, we'll publish to ArcGIS Online. Now the solar rasters, you should just publish as normal map tiles and the sonal panels will be published as scene layers. So first we create a scene layer package and then we're gonna share this package on ArcGIS Online. So enter a summary and enter some tags and hit run. Now this uploads your scene layer package to your ArcGIS online account. So let's have a look on ArcGIS online. There is our scene layer package. If you click on it, you can publish it to a scene layer. And once that's done, we can open it up in our scene viewer. So this is an existing scene, and we're gonna search for our published solar radiation layer. And then we display it in the scene. And that's it. You can add slides if you want and then save your scene. Thank you for watching. That's all for today. Until next time.